Hi there everyone, this is Nikolai from Munich. Um, I have a little theory I want to share with you guys. Um, yesterday I watched the new um, episode of this uh, amazing TV show called uh, How the Universe Works. And um, yeah, it is called First Oceans. And uh, I just had some crazy idea after watching it. Maybe you know it. Um, on how our oceans formed. Um, in this uh, episode, they they are talking about. Uh, uh, first, uh, first of all, this is this is like rough ideas. You know, I just I t did al almost didn't sleep last night, and I just woke up and I'm trying to share this with you guys. If you have some ideas on that, maybe it's new. I don't know what I'm going to tell you, but I have no special effects, no CGI except this hoodie. <laughs> yeah well um okay so let's let's get started um uh, in this episode they're, they're, they're talking about um how the earth um might have gotten its oceans and they have all these kinds of theories going on like a late heavy bombardment um like um, jupiter throwing stuff uh, over like comets and uh, one particular thing i found interesting was uh, the thought of uh, asteroids uh, and they talk about that the um, composition of the water in, uh, on Earth is uh, similar to this, uh, to that in uh, different kinds of asteroids, more than uh, 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 that in comets. So um, I was wondering, isn't Earth itself some kind of asteroid? You know, like some huge asteroid, and. Um, yeah, this would explain where the water came from, from right here. It was like bound in the earth when it formed. And um, the crash of Thea, this um, hypothetical uh, planet which crashed into the earth. Um, oh, yeah, it's a theory. Um, might have like, you know, made the water evaporate, which was bound in both of those uh, planets. You have to, uh, you have to imagine all this whoosh and whoosh and wow, do 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 do, and you know, but yeah, just just imagine, you know, you have those two huge Earth balls of matter, and they collide uh, in the skies, and um, the uh, the Earth, uh, the, the result, of course, the, is uh, the formation of the moon. We know that, yes, Thea uh, might be responsible in this theory, which is already established. Um, might be responsible for the formation of the moon. So, like, <laughs> I'll start again. <laughs> As I told you, it's really just rough thinking, you know, and my English is a little out of uh, practice. But, well, we're, we're doing this, right? You, you, you stay with me. Okay, so, <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, we have this one. It's the, um, the first Earth, you could say, like, the smaller one. There's Thea coming crashing into it everything's boiling up you know like um the uh the water uh, particles which uh, were attached to all this dust um they separate from the dust they evaporate and uh, encircle the um, body of this new um combined planet of uh, of thea and and the first earth so um, you have this kind of mantle of H2O, uh, like wrapped around it. So like there's the cold from the universe, um, cooling it down, maybe freezing it on the outer rims of the mantle. Um, and, uh, and gravity uh, draws it back to Earth. And you have the, uh, the opposite uh, um, force, uh, which is, is the evaporation, like the heat, like and all the water and all the vapor basically um, is, is driven away from the earth by that. So you have this mantle around the earth after the collision. And uh, yeah, and so this uh, takes a while, yeah, you know, like moon is forming. Or maybe it, it came out like, uh, uh, like some kind of soap bubble or glass bubble you know like when you know this when people make glass and uh, so it comes out which would explain if 
if the world is really, uh, if the moon is really hollow, like some people believe. Uh, I'm not sure. But, but might be an explanation like, yeah, this kind. <laughs> I have to start again. <laughs> Sorry. I, this is not practice, but it's my kind of style to, to just uh, put this out there then. So like you have to do with me <laughs> starting all over again uh, time after time. This is life. For me at least. Okay. And it's a quite an important question, you know, so like uh, you should stick with me. I hope you will. So, um, okay, Thea crashes into Earth for the fifth time. No, it was only once, you know, but it crashes into the Earth. And um, the moon pops out or is formed like they explain it in the, uh, in the documentary, like with, uh, after 100 days it uh, condenses and forms the moon. So it has no uh, gravitational pull whatsoever on, on the vapor, which, is, uh, which we talked about, which is around the uh, new Earth 2, if you want to call it that. Um, yeah, and um, um, so we have no moon, which would uh, matter. It's matter, it wouldn't matter. Um, we just would have uh, um, this new body boiling, yeah? You know, we have this mantle. And then after some while, it cools down. So like, um, eons, uh, some while uh, on, on a galactic uh, basis, you know, time basis, you know. So it cools down and the mantle shrinks. It shrinks down as the Earth cools because the water, which was around it, shared by um, Thea and yeah I told you um, it comes closer and closer and closer until it settles and then we have the oceans um, yeah basically that's the, that's the thing I would love to, some comments on that uh, um, yeah it's a theory you know and um, please don't troll just take it easy on me I'm just some some guy thinking about stuff <laughs>